remember that at one point, I don't know, I haven't watched them in years. You gotta remember, I don't watch TV nearly as much as I used to. I used to watch it a lot. But, um, I remember them. And I just remember, oh, two-handed mace, I gotta inspect that. I remember watching some of those movies, and, like, they're just gore fests. <laughs> like, there's no actual horror, it's just, oh, you die, you die, and now you die, too. And I remember one movie was so bad, it was Rock Beast, and I swear that movie is racist. For the love of everything inside of me. Ooh. Then why does it say my dexterity and my vitality are gonna go down? Oh, because it's two-handed. It's a two-handed mace. So I have to two-hand it. Better stats-wise. There we go. What was it like before? Oh, she had no health before. And right, watch this. Watch the stat increase. Whoop! <laughs> she went from like 900 to 2,000. Look, she's hurt badly. Because her health didn't immediately regenerate up to that. That's how badly hurt she was. But I swear, the only person that died in that movie was uh, the black guy. And it was just so funny because it was such a stupid plot line. Like, all those movies had, like, really shitty plot lines. Just the plot point was really dumb. Like, the, pretty much every movie they ever made there was shitty and terrible. And a complete waste of money. We could, you know, be putting into something worthwhile in America. I don't know, like stimulating the economy or some shit. I know it wouldn't do much, but it's better than some of the movies they made. They were horrible, man. It's like, let's just make a movie because we can. Oh my god. We will feel the shadow lock. Shadow lock. Blood, and we will hide the blood in the desert. Under eternal guard, I can only hope that the world is not taken full evil and the blood remains undisturbed in the shifting time. One thing I will say about the Sci-Fi Channel, though, is that every year on July 4th, they have a, a marathon of the Twilight Zone. That I have to love them for, because, you know, I think that the Twilight Zone is... One of the best TV shows ever conceived. And not just, you know, the 1950s version. I'm also talking about the 1980s and the 2000s version. They were pretty good. I think a lot of people don't give them credit. They weren't as good, but they were still pretty good. It's better than 90% of the shit on TV anyway. So I'll give them credit for that. Because Twilight Zone was a really good show. There we go, fill the shadow lock. Let's get out of here. This is a nice movement speed right here. Look at this. I'm zipping along. All right, now I gotta do the storm halls. The storm vaults, I believe, was a dungeon in Warcraft. I'm just remembering that off the top of my head. That is a powerful foe over there. That's why we're gonna ignore it. I'm just kidding, let's get down there. Do I even lose health anymore? Yeah, I do. I do. I do. A mighty foe has fallen. Just out of curiosity. Increases knockback distance. 28, 38. 52. Ironically, I think some of their movies are just so shitty that that's what makes them popular. That's why Sharknado is getting a sequel. The Beastmaster of Chaldeum. Oh shit. Grimok the Violent. I'm just getting knocked around. I can't move. I'm surprised she's not down, but you gotta remember, I just gave her something that, like, pretty much almost more than doubled her health. Okay. 
feared. You can barely see the amount of experience that guy gave me. It barely pushed it beyond the fifth mark. Look at all these things. And here comes another rock beast. Eight, seven, eight. Seven. Arcane construct. Jesus, they never stop coming, but I'm okay with it. I really am. More experience for me. Yeah, they're getting revived by something. This guy, Fallen Magus. of nothing. This game is getting good because I'm getting all these abilities, all this, you know, very nice uh, equipment. I'm getting all this good stuff, you know, now the game's getting interesting. You know, I'm increasing my, my smithing, my socketry. So uh, that's actually kind of the same stuff that made Warcraft interesting for me after a certain point too. You know, I was getting to such a high level, I was unlocking so much cool stuff every level. A really cool feeling, you know, like, oh, you hit level 60? Well, here's a couple different things you can do. You know, you can, now you can get an epic mount, now you can do all this stuff, now you can go to Outland, now you can do, you know, all this stuff that before, a few levels ago, you couldn't do. You know, your character's always improving. I remember going to Outland, I think, as soon as I could, and then I was like, you know what? I should go ahead and do all the quests I can before I do that. All the lower level quests that won't give me as much experience. I don't do them right now so I did I did green quests as well you know before they turned gray and I don't I didn't get any experience from them. I did greens I did everything so that way all the other experience would be worth it it's flashing light in my in my room right now level 25 yes I got a new mantra I already know what? Oh, that's level 26! Oh, I didn't lean in and actually look at it. Oh, well. Cyclone Strike. Implosion. Exploding Palm. Now a strong spirit. Wave of Light. Explosive Light. That just goes to show you my eyesight, man. Distance enemy will be pulled. Yes, that's what I want. Exploding palm. If the target explodes after bleeding, gain spear for every enemy caught in the blast. Hmm. I'll keep this one. Increases damage because I use it against like boss enemies. There's no reason for me to use against little fodder enemies because they die too quickly. Shut up. Oh, I completed the quest. Okay. Assassin's Dawn. Oh, 
Rapture could be silent until the end days. <laughs> Lost the betrayer. <laughs> Kick the shit out of him. Wow. Your trick fails. Seven with one blow, very nice. All right, a tenth of the way to level twenty six. All right, let's get out of here. Bonus experience would have been nice prior to the two fights I just had. That's lame, because now there's no more fighting. Into the realm of shadow through the terminus. Shadow portal lies here, waiting to be opened. Oh boy. The realm of shadow, find his body. Spirit Stone. Never very imaginative. Identify. I also think I have something else unidentified. Ooh, Guyana Nan Kashu. I think I might actually replace the. Yeah, I'm gonna replace the helm for this. Finally, I get a new helm for, instead of that. Finally, replace the infernal helm. I need new bracers, though. I gotta get new bracers. I didn't have any, I didn't have a reason to wear it anymore. Yeah, that drops my health a lot. This is a long time since I've seen my character's face, because I've been wearing the Infernal Helm the entire game up until now. I won't get any more bonus experience though, which kind of sucks. There's a gold. Can't read it. Lotus the Doomed. He's confused. He's stunned. He doesn't know what to do. Grab those. I love it when they float out of bounds. A cunning skull. Do I also have another weapon that's uh, orange and I don't know what to do with it? Oh no, it was the ring. I already investigated it. Shade Stalkers. Whoop, 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 whoop. I like that backflip. I wish you would do like cartwheels and stuff for side flips so that rolls. Sand Behemoth. Melted him. He's made of rock. I melted him with my kick. Insta kill. Come on, I can't get them to come to me now. They're all running away. 